Hello and welcome back to another TikTok tribe video. And today we're going to be looking at the Canon PowerShot XX40 IS. So the XX400, sorry I didn't mean 40, 400 IS is a pretty nice camera. It has 16 megapixels, 0.16 megapixels, and a really nice camera lens. It also has HD 30 times optical zoom, so that's really nice. And it also has a flippy uppy flash like the other Canon type cameras. Really nice zoom, power button, and a nice recording button too. It's not like the vlogging camera. Here, I can bring that out. It's a little bit smaller than the vlogging camera that we reviewed last video in overall size. Um, like this, because see, like the power button sticks out. But this is also longer. That's because it stores the really nice big lens inside. So let's turn it on. And it has an SD card, that's nice. There's also a auto and program button. I have it set to program. But there's also auto ISS, wait, auto ISO, and a whole bunch of other different stuff. But let's take a look at the recording modes, or picture modes. There's live view, so you can adjust colors, portrait, facey self timer. So I, so I think that's when you walk into frame. Um, low light. Um, fit goofy uh, fisheye effect, miniature effect, toy camera, a monochrome, vivid colors, poster effect, snow, and fireworks, and long shutter probably for nighttime. There's also an auto feature. The automatically like for instance if i try to zoom in on this piece right here i can zoom in, in pretty far you can half press half press the focus it tells you when you need to lift up the flash or not then it calibrate probably have to move it away and then you can take a picture and it came out it's a pretty crappy picture let's see if we can get a better one Not half bad. Okay. And there's a lot of different features on this camera, but it's mostly just recording and taking photos. It's kind of like a small point and shoot camera. It's not really much to go that goes on with it. But like yesterday, or last video, I should say, we have pistachio. He's going to be our subject. He's going to be sitting on the iPad this time, so maybe there won't be less reflections off the table. Um, and I'm also for fast moving, because sometimes it goes, ah, oh, oh, like that for fast moving. Um, we need a fast moving object. So, the OTF knife would do pretty good with that. And now we're going to be doing some testing probably i'm going to show you guys those tests oh yeah there is no slow motion or time lapse you have to do all that stuff in editing but we will look for the modes and stuff in the menu after these tests so this is the front facing frog view and you can see the colors and the colors look pretty good on this one you can see how the purples are purple and the greens are nice and green how they're supposed to be and yeah this is the side profile on the green side of the frog, and it is looking kind of washed out. It's supposed to be like a darker green, look more vibrant, but overall, it's pretty good, okay camera. This is the back side shot of the, the frog, and there's two colors. The purple is nice and vibrant how it's supposed to be, and the green is pretty good as well. I think this camera did a good job. And this is the video quality on the Canon PowerShot SX400 IS. It is 
pretty good for the most part. Um, here's the lens cover for scale. This is pistachio, like I told you guys earlier. And this is the OTF knife. It's pretty fast moving. It's also pretty glossy too, actually, because there's dual colors. Let's see. The greens come up pretty good on this one as well as the frog. Same thing with the blues. Um, the colors are actually pretty good too. You can zoom too, it's pretty slow. You can see the spring. It doesn't autofocus during video, I don't think. But overall, it's a pretty good camera. How do I the microphone sounds a lot good on this camera. A lot better than the last camera. Because it's up on top where my mouth is. And didn't everything didn't sound super loud. It was actually kind of nice. I hope the videos and stuff came out pretty good on this camera. Because I have not seen them yet. And I think playback quality is good. I have videos on this because I was using this a couple days ago. And this is the video I just took. And these are the pictures. This We can check out the display quality here. I'm going to try to zoom in. Try to make it so it focuses for you guys. Side profile, frog, front profile, lens cap that we just took a couple days ago. For, not days ago. A couple minutes ago for example pictures. And this is another picture. This is a video. Now you can play. And you can shuffle smart. You can search image. And then you can slideshow. But we don't want to do any of those things. Okay, we can also favorite it. Um, protected so we can't delete it and rotate cannot be rotated which is okay so the play might be copyrighted but see this is Louie the dog you might have seen him from our YouTube shorts he's a pretty cute dog and yeah there's also all these different areas and screens but yeah that is playback quality and it also has a tripod screw. If I can just bring this up to the camera. Tripod screw. This is the stuff. You need it. Now let's take a closer look at these markings. Let me try to get it to focus. There we go. So I'm in upside down. So yeah, those. Yep. Nice grippy to it. It's really nice to hold in the hand. Oh yeah, there's also AV output in a in a like a goofy looking mini USB. This is the battery slot with easy access memory card. This is a 16 gig SanDisk card. It works really well. battery just slides out and you get the Canon branded battery so 18 milliamp 8, 800 milliamp so I, it'll be shooting for a long time those are the markings on the back if you want to see if you want to read them I don't know who we want to read those but that's for you guys. And the battery is pulling backwards because I'm really smart. Nice and close. It's pretty rugged. And yeah, there is no little vlog camera. There's no little boot thing. I can think it's called like the flash connector thing whatever it's called and you can't stick there's none on this one because the flash this is a really small camera too so that means you can't like for instance in the last camera video when we reviewed this one I said I 3d printed adapters things for this so this is just like a little cover and I made it so you can slide it in this and there's a little spot just clip a camera on to clip, not camera, flashlight on too. 
and then you can have it flip up like this. And there's this light that makes the room brighter for you if you're trying to record in the dark light. It's also nice for the low ISO as well. We'll do some flash out reviews later on. And also this is a proper flash too. Proper flash bulb in there, not just the LED. So that way you can record. Um, Cause this one you can record with, but it's not even that bright. This flash is pretty bright right here. It's Canon, so it has nice build quality, no creaking. Um, eat the outputs. It also has wrist strap spots on each side. And you can also hook one of those things from here to the side. I took that off though. It's like sticking it in my pocket. And playback quality, there's all these different functions. But I did promise that we check for the menu. So this just turns on and off some display things. And this is the settings. So you can have flash settings, all these different things, grid. Link detection, mute, date. I think a date's actually a day off. Eco mode, and also has LED brightness, LCD brightness. Startup image in 14 gigs left on the card. and NTSC and PAL, languages, and the reset all button. So yeah, there's not really much that I can really, that you can really do on this camera compared to this one, but this camera does have better point and shoot, click, click, click quality compared to this one. Cause the colors were washed out on this one. I feel like the colors on this one would be more vibrant. So I'm gonna show you those well, I should have showed you those videos before and stuff. And, um, yeah. So this is the, so that is the Canon PowerShot XX 400 IS. I really, really like this camera. So I will link, if it's even still around, actually, this is from 2014. But I'll link the way, place you can buy it in the description. And I'll try to find it at a nice cheap, at a nice cheap spot because this is a nice beginner camera. I've actually recorded some YouTube shorts on this thing. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video and on another Tech Talk Tribe. And I hope you guys watch the next video. Peace.